Are you ready to cook? <gasps> Welcome everyone to cooking with a corgi. Do you want me to cook for you? Yeah? Oh. Our first meal is gonna be a play on chicken nuggets. When you were little, did you guys have those dinosaur chicken nuggets? I thought we would make some for Gatsby, but use a corgi. It's a corgi cookie cutter. So along with the chicken, we're gonna eat it with some veggies. And we got some of these kinds of veggies. In order to keep things healthy, we're not gonna deep fry the chicken, but instead we're going to air fry it. Here's some breadcrumbs, Gatsby. Whoa! Whoa! Some bell peppers here. Do you like yellow bell pepper or red bell pepper? It's like, oh my gosh, this sounds fancy. Avocado oil. We'll put Gatsby's further away. Salt, pepper, and garlic. You smell it? Once it gets to the color that you want, that's when you stop. Bread crumbs are toasted. You smell that, Gatsby? I got some chicken breast. You wanna flatten it and make sure that it's about evenly flat. Okay. I don't know how much of this looks like an actual corgi. Does that look like a corgi? <laughs> I preheat the air fryer. Gotta crack some eggs. See that? I hope these look like corgis once we're done. Gotta make sure it looks like a corgi. 360 for 10 minutes. We'll flip it in five minutes, okay? The oven's preheated, so we're gonna stick the vegetables inside. I'm gonna make mine, I'm gonna season my chicken though. Why is there so much water on the ground here? You know what that is? Gatsby, what is that? Is that corgi drool? <laughs> That's a lot of corgi drool. And flip. I'm glad I did a few because this is the only one that somewhat looks like a corgi. That one does not, and that one does not, you see? It's a little corgi barking. <laughs> and here's mine. Go ahead. There was a time no. I didn't have romance, but after I met you, I found you trying the chicken? Chicken is nice and crispy. It passes the clean plate test. Guess what do you think? I think he really liked it. You guys caught us at the end. We still have more meals coming up. And make sure you stay till the end of the vlog because I have a $10 gift card code for you guys for our Corgi on Fleet Black Friday sale. Shall we start the vlog? I thought I would give you guys an update on Gatsby's weight. He is now 29 pounds! If you guys remember, he was 33 and a half pounds when he started. His goal weight is apparently 28 pounds. So he has one more pound to go. Just one more pound! He went to the physical therapist and they said that he's good. He doesn't have to go anymore. Yeah? You're fully recovered? What good news, Gatsby? Good morning, everybody! Are we ready to cook with corgis for breakfast? So for breakfast today, I thought we would make a Japanese onsen egg. I thought we would make it on top of beef and rice. Are you ready for your egg? Yeah? Oh, look at those stars in his eyes. First thing we're gonna do is bring one liter of water to a boil. Hello. Okay, so we got over here Japanese golden yolk eggs. And I went and bought your favorite. Thinly sliced beef. By the way, I got the onsen egg recipe from just one cookbook. I'll put a link to that recipe in the description below. Yummy food. Yeah, it's gonna be for you, Gatsby. I'm making it. So once it's boiling, you turn off the heat. 200 milliliters of extra water. And then we cover it like this and leave it for 17 minutes. He's like, oh, okay. So green onions are not dog friendly. It's gonna cook almost immediately. And it's done. So we got the rice. Usually onsen eggs require like a very specific sauce, which um, I, I don't have. So I'm just gonna use ponzu sauce instead. So I think the trick is you need to make a hole. And then I'll sprinkle mine with green onions. Ta-da! 
I added a little bit of soy sauce to mine. Okay. Are you ready for breakfast? <laughs> Good. This is a perfect start to the day. I think Gatsby liked it too. He cleaned it out. And make sure to stay tuned because we still have lunch. What are we gonna make for lunch? You guys, it has been a busy few weeks after doing our merchandise drop. I wanna thank everyone so much for showing so much support for Gatsby and me and all the merchandise in our winter merchandise drop. By the way, Gatsby and I wanted to thank these awesome fans right over here. We got so many awesome fans who tagged us in their merchandise. Gatsby, what do you think? They all have your plush, Gatsby. That's so awesome. Make sure when you get your merchandise, tag us, hashtag Corgi on Fleek. Also, if you got the calendar, make sure to take a picture with your favorite photo from the calendar. Yay! It always makes me feel so happy to see everybody enjoying all the merchandise and everything that I've been working so hard on for so long. I want to thank you guys for your patience too because I'm not like a big company. I'm shipping out things as fast as I can and it has been crazy. First off, I want to get some few housekeeping items out of the way. Our zipper pouches came in. They're double-sided. <laughs> You can put stuff inside. It can be like a pencil case, makeup. They actually turned out really nice. So we have this design, we have this one here. Non-fungible corgi aquarium one. The other keychain that I was working on also came in. Check it out. This is an acrylic keychain in Japanese right here. It says Kogi on Furiku. Corgi on Fleek. And then we have the black and white side. And the Christmas cards are back in stock for a very limited time. I totally ran out of them. I didn't know that people wanted them so badly. I also wanted to give an update on the jigsaw puzzles. The fruit fantasy puzzle and the new balloon puzzle are also so back in stock. They finally arrived. And so if you missed your chance to get a jigsaw puzzle last night, make sure to grab one. And if you haven't yet, make sure to grab your 2022 calendar. This one is so special. As I had mentioned before, I got the famous photographer from Japan, Koki, to fly over. Today, I thought I would share with you guys how we did this photo. Koki's here and we're gonna go over some more behind the scenes look at our 2022 calendar that we work together on. Gatsby has this parade. Those balloons are gonna be so tangled. So tangled. <laughs> <laughs> super yeah. close up. I think it's gonna look like a <laughs> <laughs> This one random older lady was just randomly <laughs> taking pictures of me. I'll send you that photo. For the first time we shot it was kind of all tangled up with the balloon strings and then it just didn't look right in post. Ryan's trying to photoshop. We ended up having to take the photo two times on two separate occasions. Here we go again, again. <laughs> Koki has the balloons. He's gonna carry it. He didn't want the strings to get all tangled. It was so much trouble getting the balloons over to the place and keeping them from getting tangled. Okay, well. Oh, nice. Uh, it's like blowing everywhere. It's blowing the other way, no. It's like blowing that way. It's just behind you now. It's just like it's going behind you. No, the, the wind is like blowing that way, so. Well, how about if I pull it down really fast? Okay, try it. Oh, nice, nice, do it. Keep doing that. Ryan said, like, why don't we just pull it down fast so it looks like it's floating. Yeah. And that's what we did. Okay, I think we got the shoot done. Go. Okay, he doesn't want it. He's like, put me in the cart. Oh, really? Yeah. And yeah, it turned out way better than the previous photo, so super happy with the result. Each calendar comes with a poster inside. I think this poster turned out really nice. And if you order the signed calendar, the poster comes signed with both my signature as well as Gatsby's real paw print. The signed ones are only available for a very limited time, so if you want one, make sure to grab it. It's lunchtime! <laughs> Gatsby's like, I never get lunch in my new Corgi on Fleek Christmas sweater. Available at CorgiOnFleek.com. Gatsby, this is you! Since we're gonna have a big dinner, which you guys probably already saw, we're gonna do like a very simple burrito bowl. 
here we go. I got some plain shredded chicken. We got some avocados. Avocados, despite what people might think, are dog friendly. When they say it's not dog friendly, they mean like the plant, because the dog can like choke on the seed, they can eat the skin, but the actual meat of the avocado is okay for dogs. Some tomatoes, I don't know if Gatsby will like them, but you gotta have tomatoes. Black beans, no salt added, that's important. And we have the corn from the last video. If you guys missed it out, make sure to check that out afterwards. And some feta cheese. These beans are already fully cooked, so I'm just going to rinse them off. Yeah. What do you think, Gatsby? Beans in Spanish is frijoles. Gatsby smells it. He's like, oh my gosh, frijoles es muy delicioso. Boiled corn on the cob from our last video. When they say tomatoes aren't dog safe, they're talking about the tomato plant. If you have a tomato plant and they eat unripe tomatoes, then that can be a problem. Do you like avocado? Here's Gatsby's bowl, here's mine. We're gonna assemble everything. This is for you. Don't eat it yet, you gotta wait. I'm gonna make it kind of like a salad. I'll add some salt and some pepper. Here's our food. This one's mine, and this one's Gatsby's. He gets a mini one. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? Yes? Okay. You went straight for the chicken. Oh, you actually ate the tomatoes, guys. Be good for you. Oh. Guess what? My friend just told me that he got me a new fish for the aquarium. Another sailfin tank. How was the other fish that I got doing? Um, I'll fill you in after we get back. That one I just fed. Crazy. My friend got me a new baby sailfin tank. So we got that and I also got a torch coral. So we have the setup going right now. We have the drip loop inside. There he is. He's like super scared. We're gonna use Coral Revive. Pour it in. There it is. Well, it's been a few hours. Let's check up on the aquarium. So that new fish is already swimming around with all the other fish. It's like he's friends. I'll have to mount it at some point, but check it out. It looks pretty good, right? Remember that fish that I bought that was supposed to get rid of the Aptasia? There is no more Aptasia anywhere. I can't find a single Aptasia. Let's feed the fish. They're all eating. Ooh. Welcome to the tank, Mr. Sailfin Tang. I hope you do very well. And don't swim into the bubble coral, please. Oh, there he is. I found him. By the way, this coral over here, look at these pieces, they're coming loose. That means they're gonna break off soon and make new babies. Check it out, that's a baby there. There's one right here. There is so much movement in the tank now. I'm so happy. The tank is coming back out of recovery mode. It's looking great. Well, it's time for us to open some mail. We've got a few packages, let's open this up. Amy, Julia, and Sarah from Kailua, Hawaii. Cross-stitched ornaments, Gatsby, look at that. There's mine, Ryan. There's Gatsby's. Look at that, Gatsby. Tembi, Jack, and Sean. Oh, nice, I gotta give it to them. He's like, oh my gosh, that's for me. Look at this, Gatsby, look, there's a turkey. I got a Chipotle gift card. That's awesome. April and Todd from Shelton, Washington. Get this, Gatsby, you got another heart donut. This is from Essence, Felicia, and Preston from Stevens Point, Wisconsin. The final gift. This is a gift from Carrie Norton who always sends so many things to us. So Carrie had sent me an email separately telling me about her father, Skip Norton. He used to really enjoy our vlogs and he unfortunately passed away on the 16th of November. I'm so sorry for your loss. It must be just like, I, I can't imagine. And she sent me this package in his memory, so let's see what it is. Happy Thanksgiving, please pray for my dad, Skip. What is it? <laughs> this is for you to wear. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, me, look up, look at me, look at me. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is so cute. <laughs> this is so funny, I just can't stop smiling. Oh, you guys are so incredible. Thank you so much, you guys. Gatsby, all the Christmas lights are up. Do you want to go and check them out?
gosh, that dinner. We cooked with corgis all day long. Yeah? <laughs> it's time for us to head to bed. That dinner was incredible, right Gatsby? Well, that's gonna do it for our vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, we have our Black Friday Cyber Monday sale going on right now. And here is a $10 gift card code for you to use there. Make sure to check out CorgiOnFleek.com for all the details. Also, I want to wish everybody in America a happy Thanksgiving. See you in the next video. Good night! Today, Gatsby's brother Tater Tot is coming to visit. Are you ready to surprise Gatsby?